class one in our plasma etcher lab looking at an STS multiplex PECVD system. Class one ID number is 3072. Uh, we're gonna go over the system and what we've done for refurbishment and then run a plasma, run a cycle wafer through the system. What we have here is uh, the uh, Edwards vacuum pump, the RF power supply, and the Affinity chiller. The um, vacuum pump's been sent out and professionally rebuilt. Looking at the uh, main system, it has a mini load lock. The load plate was made specifically for this customer. It's set up for three inch wafers. Brian, uh, do you want to just go over some of the details? Um, <laughs> some of the details of, of our refurbishment process. Well, we have the gas box in the back here. Okay, and let's let's come. Okay, oh, so go ahead. We have nine nine mass flow controllers in here. They've all been pulled out, sent to a uh, refurbishment facility. Okay. Where they clean them, replace any bad parts in them, and calibrate them and certify the calibration. Okay. And we reinstall them, replace any hazardous corrosive gas lines that have been replaced. Everything's been leak checked with a leak, helium leak checker to make sure it's all helium leak checked tight. And then we go ahead and hook it back up to the system. O-rings and seals have all been replaced on the system. This particular customer requested CalRes. So CalRes O-rings uh, by customer request, all brand new, installed in the chamber. Chamber has been thoroughly cleaned. Yes. I know that windows here are new as well. So yes. a, a whole number of consumable slash worn parts are replaced with new, uh, such as these windows and, and all the seals and O-rings. All the gauges have been checked and calibrated. All electrical lines have been checked. Gauges, okay. Electrical lines. Okay. Turbo pump was sent out. No, no turbo. On oh yeah, it doesn't have a turbo. That's right. Okay. She has the, the blower package with the I-8600. Okay, you're right. Yep. This is the load lock pump. That was also sent out and being refurbished by a pump refurbisher. Okay. And now I think we're ready to uh, run a cycle. Anything to note here on the E-Rack? All the software has been checked, verified. Uh, all the controllers have been checked, verified. Running tested, verified, tested. running. Okay. New flat screen, brand new keyboard, phone. mouse, all brand new. Brand new. I have the program set up now to run a sequence. As you can see, these are the nine MFCs here. Mm -hmm. This shows the chamber. This shows the upper and lower RF match. Capacitance manometer reading. And these are various valves, throttle valve in the system. So it shows what the chamber is doing, what the system is doing. Down on the lower left, I have what shows the transfer, which basically is the load lock itself, where the uh, substrate would be to load in and out of the chamber. We have a full machine view showing the chamber, which was showed in the upper left, and the load lock. Pump valve, vent valve. Okay, here I have opened up a sequencer. I've set up a sequence where all I have to do now is push run. If I click run, it's going to automatically load the wafer in. Follow a recipe, in, 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 in other words. Right. I, I, the sequencer has the recipe in it. 
but also so it also has the load sequence in okay. it. So it will load the wafer in, start the recipe, run the recipe. When the recipe's done, unload the wafer. Okay. So now I'll hit run. Okay. Now it's in transfer mode. It's going to pump down the load lock. Now when it gets down below 80, it's going to open up this valve here, okay. and the arm will go in. The arm is going in now. Right. Pin will come up, get the we'll wafer. Lift the wafer. The arm will come back out of the chamber. It's already out. Oh, it's already come out, yep. Now this will pump down. Now it's pumping down on the chamber. Now on my upper right hand screen here, it's showing what it's doing. It's doing a backfill step. And for this particular machine, because it runs silane, ammonia, methane, it's going to do a backfill on the gas lines back to the MFC. And that's going to purge the gas lines. It does this. That's one purge step on the gas lines. Positioning APC, which is the uh, automatic pressure controller. Now here you can see we're purging the silane line out. Okay. Notice that it does this before it starts running the actual process. Okay, got it. gas line again. It shows here open. Now it's purging out the ammonia line and it purges with nitrogen. It has a nitrogen purge set up. Take it another round. Of, while it's doing that, I'm taking another look at the tool. What's the software version on this? I honestly don't remember. I think it's Windows 2000. Say that again. It's turned on the gas settings. Nitrogen, silane, and ammonia. This is actually a silicon nitride recipe. Okay. Uh, I am only flowing nitrogen for all three of these. For testing purposes. For testing right. purposes. Set point 40, it is 40. Set point 1960, it is 1960. Okay. 40 and 40. Alright, so it's waiting for gas stabilization. And here's telling you how much time is left on this step. Right. I'm running the temperature 300 and 250, upper chamber, lower chamber temperatures, 900 millitour, it's process pressure. Okay. Okay, I'm running shower head, I'm running the, the 1356 megahertz generator at 20 watts. On the platen, on the bottom, I'm running 380 kilohertz, also 20 watts. And here we show reflected power, so it's tuned very nicely. Nice. And if you go look in the window, you'll see a nice thing. The serial number. Oh, on the back of that. Okay. 
Year of manufacture is February 3rd, 2005. And then there's a 90 tag here. Serial number of the, the system is 133841. Okay. That's all I have two minutes. Oh, two minutes, okay. So we'll see the wafers. 14 seconds left. I'll just position this to see the wafers come out. Okay. So chamber's purging. This, I'll just comment, this load arm here was, uh, was brand new, made specifically to hold our customer's 3-inch load plate. And this has been cycled many times and running very smoothly. This system can run any size wafer, really, from pieces, 1-inch wafers, up to 200 millimeter, until, up until 8-inch diameter wafers. Get an overview of the tool here. Before we, we have cycled the tool for over two weeks now, run a myriad of tests, and it's about to be shut down, locked for transport, and shipped to our customer. Brian will be doing the install, full installation and training at the FAB in the Boston area. And that will be complete our turnkey solution where we offer and have sold a completely refurbished system with a warranty and installation. How much more time until Okay. Well, I'll just, you know, I'll just complete the video here to, to make it, it's not too long of a video since we, we, we can, um, we know that the wafers will be removed from the chamber and um, that'll be the completion of the demonstration, but just to keep the video short, we'll be okay. Oh, almost ready. Okay, well, we've got a little, I guess we'll stretch it out. does this gas line purge before and then after the recipe. So it should be on its last purge before it's ready to go ahead and... Okay, now it's back in the transfer mode. It should be getting ready. substrate holder. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Great job. And everything's all back to where it was before. It's ready. You can load it. You can vent it. Okay. Excellent. Nice demo. Thank you.